hurt. That sucks. bent right here so just got to bend it back Shredded the valve stand, so we're gonna stick another one of those in. Move it up a little bit. Stick through. Take your little tool. Thread it on. Grab it. Make sure it's seated all the way around. Installed. You can use soapy water. This is just tire lube. Pulled the, I found a little staple right here, so I actually pulled it out, so I'll put a tire plug in there real fast. These are teeny little holes, and there's two of them because it was a staple. So I'll just pull one out. I'm going to use the same thing for both. So I'm going to put this almost in the end. This is it. This isn't anything complicated. As far as like a car tire or anything like that. Take the other end and we're gonna damp it down. Yeah, let's finish reaming out the sister hole. Take the sister hole. There we go. Unplug for the two holes. There you go, you gotta make your tools earn their keep, otherwise they're worthless. Mine just barely paid me another 40, 50 bucks and saved me two weeks of waiting for another rim to come off the internet so I can go play again. Thanks for watching, if you enjoy this sort of thing about tires and stuff, I do have a couple other tire videos. I have one on how to do the little plug in the tire, you know, the little, uh, little uh, tire seal plugs. Those work amazing and they last forever. I have one on the tire slime, the tire sealants type stuff, how to seal huge cracks in like ATVs and lawn and garden tires and last for a long day time. Or I think I even have one on how to replace just the, uh, the valve stem on tires. I'll put a link to all three of those right after this. Don't forget to share this, leave a comment below. 
thumbs up. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.